All right, here goes. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love. Now, for those of you that don't know, I've lost over 100 pounds and I've been maintaining my weight for over 15 years. So today we are gonna do a weigh-in. So I haven't done a weigh-in in about three months. I was going to be consistent and do kind of like a weigh-in um, every couple weeks. I just didn't know if that was something that you were interested in. But yeah, just let me know if that's something that you guys are you know, wanting to see where I'm just kind of doing an update on my little, you know, just um, like on my little journey. Over the last year, I would say maybe over the last couple years, I have I had started gradually gaining weight little by little. Now, yes, it happens even to people like me where I know exactly what I should be eating. I know what I should be doing. I don't wanna say that I actually like fell off the wagon. Um, I feel like what ended up happening is just I'm in the kitchen recipe testing, I'm in the kitchen cooking and tasting and doing all of that. And um, I think it was just kind of not being as mindful as I should be. I don't know how much weight I'd gain at this point, but I definitely gained some weight, a lot more than what I did. And so anyway, point is that I started gaining weight little by little and I ended up gaining about 20, 25 pounds, I would say in the last two, two and a half years. And so I feel like you can't really tell so much on my body because I'm really tall. So I'm almost six feet tall. And so I made it a point, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go back to basics. I'm gonna go back to what I know works. Um, it's worked for me every single time. And so I went back to eating high protein. I went back to eating very low carb. The only time that I do eat more carbs um, I would say is a week before, like leading into my menstrual cycle. And that is when my body craves it the most. And it's also what is the most useful for your body, especially as a woman. It just helps balance out your hormones and it helps. Um, it's just the time. If you're going to eat carbs anytime during the month, it should be a week uh, before your, your menstrual cycle. Just let me know if that's something that you guys want me to to make a video on. But um, anyway, other than that, I was trying to stay really, really low carb. If I did have some sugar, it would come from like fruit. The fruit that I like isn't really low carb, so I typically try not to eat it. I love grapes, I love apples. I just try to stay away from those fruits when I'm really trying to stay low carb because they're not low carb. So I've been putting everything together. I put everything in an ebook so that you can follow everything that I've been doing. It's exactly what I did when I lost 100 pounds after having my daughter. And now again, it's what I've done now. So we are gonna do a weigh in. We'll see how much weight I have I have lost. Um, I feel like at the end of the day, yes, it's important to keep your weight at a healthy weight. I think my mentality has really changed when it comes to weight loss. Um, growing up, it was always just about being thinner, being skinnier. Now I definitely focused on my health. Like I really try to focus on the types of foods that I eat, which is why I have also stopped eating out as much. So anyway. I'll talk about that right now. I would say we're probably about like five going into six months since I started going back to basics. So let's go um, hop on the scale and just see how much I have actually lost. We're gonna do it together. Let's go check it out and um, let's see where we're at. All right guys, so moment of truth. I am hopping on my scale. This is actually the Dara scale from FitTrack. I absolutely love it. It's connected to my Bluetooth. So as you can see, it still has my weigh-in from last time, 190.1. All right, here goes. Ah! 184.1. even. But look at how it breaks everything down. So let me um, just kind of go over this so that you understand because there's a lot more to our weight than just the little number. Okay, so as you can see, my body weight is 184 and my fat is 30%, but my muscle is 65.7%. So even though the number seems high, it's mostly contributed to muscle, you know? So sometimes I feel like it registers differently in our head, but 
always remember that a lot of our body weight is contributed to muscle and water and of course there's fat in there and this is always just like a good guide so just remember that your overall weight is mostly contributing to your muscle mass and not your fat what i love about the app is that yes of course it gives me my weight and all of that but i can also track my water intake my calories what i'm eating sometimes you know you want to keep a log and you're able to keep it all in one place um, they also have programs where they have like classes and workouts and meals they have everything going on in one place and i feel like it just makes it really easy so you don't have to be going like from one app to the next and like keeping logs in different places like you can log everything just in one place so I asked them for a discount code for myself, which you can use as well. It's already 50% off on their website. If you use low carb love, you can get an additional 20% off. And that's like on their programs, on their entire app, and even on the scale, which is the one that's connected to it. So I'll leave everything in the, in the description below for you. There you have it. I've lost an additional six pounds since my last weigh in which I'm really happy about because I feel that the, I don't wanna say like the slower the better, but to be honest with you, like every time I've lost weight really, really quickly, it's been very easy for me to gain that weight back. And the way I've been doing it, I feel like it's been very, very healthy, very calm, no stress. Like I'm literally not stressing about my weight every single day had i been hopping on the scale every single day i would have probably been like frustrated and maybe falling off the wagon but because i've been feeling so good and i've just been i know that i've been doing the right thing and i'm happy to see that i've lost some weight i feel really good i'm going to the gym i know i'm also building muscle and so i feel like i might be a little more consistent instead of instead of waiting um like three months like i did i might do it like every three weeks or maybe monthly it helps keep me accountable too because if i know that i'm gonna i'm um, come on here and hop on the scale i might be a little more like okay like no missing you know not missing any workouts and maybe not having all that dessert because sometimes i do i'm not gonna lie it's just something that is very clean it's not junk um, if I'm having snacks, like there are days where I'm snacky, but overall I'm really, really happy. And um, I'm just doing it in a very uh, steady, it's almost like slow and steady. So I know that this weight is not gonna come back on because I'm, I have good habits. I mean, really good food. I know that the way I'm doing it is super sustainable. I think that that's a mistake that we make. You guys hear me talk about it a lot. If you are, if you are trying to lose weight, in a way that you know you're not gonna be able to maintain that um, way of eating for a long period of time, like where it's an actual, like where you've kind of made that, that change in the way you eat, then when you go back to eating your regular foods, then little by little that weight will creep back on. The way that I'm doing it, there's no way that, excuse me, there's no way that it's going to, um, just kind of creep back on because I am doing it by eating all the foods that I love. I've been making a lot more casseroles. I've been eating like delicious salads where I'm making my own dressings. I, I am so happy with like all the meals that I've been cooking, which of course I included them in the ebook as well. Some of my favorite that I've included in there is like chicken fettuccine Alfredo. I did the lasagna bake. Um, Supa de Toscana. I threw in some Mexican recipes in there too, like a Mexican, um, like an enchilada casserole, the green, the red, like there's just a lot of variation in there that are just so delicious. They are all low carb, they are calorie conscious, which for me, I feel like at the end of the day, you can eat super delicious while still being calorie conscious. I try to keep things low fat, so it's not very high fat either. Um, it's just very, it, it is high protein. And I think that's super important. It's important for our muscles. It's important for longevity. There's just, I don't know. I think for me, as long as I'm having protein, I feel so much better. So if there is anything that you take from this, from this video, if you have fallen off the wagon, get back up, stay consistent. You're not going to see that scale just kind of drop the normal weight they usually say between one to two pounds a week is what you want to see because think about it at the end of the month if you have if you lose four pounds try to put four pounds of fat onto a scale that's a lot of weight like that's something to be really really proud of so do it in a way that you know is sustainable do it in a way that you know you're not going to fall off the wagon that easily for me i never fall off the wagon because i don't feel like i'm on a diet 
and that's just it. I'm just more mindful. I'm not eating junk. I'm not eating a lot of processed foods. I'm trying to stay away from sugar. If I do have something that has real sugar, I try to make sure that it's real fruit, like watermelon, grapes, apples. If I do have an apple, I'll make sure that it has some type of fat, like um, peanut butter. Peanut butter and apples are a lot better than an apple all by itself. Just things like that. There's so many tips and tricks that I've included in the ebook. I hope it's really helpful for you. I can't wait to hear your feedback on that. I'll leave everything from the scale to the app to the ebook. I'll leave it all linked in the description below. If you guys like this video and you think it's gonna be really helpful to you, uh, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to hit the little bell notification so that you're reminded every time I post a video. Um, if you have any friends or family that are trying to lose weight, that are just trying to make healthier choices in their life, share my channel with them. It might be very, very helpful. But overall, thank you so much for being here. I love you and I'll see you on my next video. Mwah.